So in the previous episode, we have uh, learned how to integrate the gem red carpet into Ruben Rails application so that when we fill in uh, information uh, in a text field uh, with the markdown syntax, it is interpreted as a uh, markdown and is displayed nicely in HTML in our application. And you see here at the moment, I've got uh, some inline code and some code blocks. Here is one code block in uh, the Ruby language and here is some uh, code in JavaScript. And it kind of looks awful. Why? Because we don't have any syntax highlighting. And uh, for this, we're going to install the gem Rouge. So Rouge is a gem that lets us uh, add the syntax highlighting to basically any programming language. Here you can uh, have an example. You can uh, add the syntax in any language and it would highlight it uh, uh, appropriately. readily. And uh, usually when you install the gem red carpet, uh, Rouge uh, always goes uh, alone uh, to highlight the uh, code uh, correctly. So let's install the gem uh, Rouge. First of all, uh, I'm going to go to the application. I'm going to use the same boilerplate as uh, I used for the previous application where we already have a uh, markdown with a red carpet installed. And to this application, I'm going to add the gem Rouge. So bundle add Rouge. Okay. And now uh, we need to somehow initialize uh, Rouge in our application. So how are we going to do it? Well, uh, here you see we have some Rouge themes and uh, we're going to use some Rouge themes, but importantly, we need to uh, tell our application that is using Markdown with Red Carpet to use Rouge. And uh, especially for this, inside the Rouge gem, there is uh, an interpreter or oh, a plugin for red carpet so rouge has a red carpet plugin and we need to initialize it how can we do this well uh, we are going to go to our notes uh, helper where we have our markdown and here we are going to include the uh, rouge plugins red carpet into our uh, markdown renderer so i will say uh, class let's name it uh, uh, rouge HTML and uh, it will inherit from uh, red carpet render HTML and here we will include rouge plugins red carpet include rouge plugins red carpet and and now instead of uh, having a uh, red carpet render HTML here, we are going to use uh, Rouge HTML. And Rouge HTML is going to inherit from red carpet render HTML and it's going to include uh, the Rouge plugin for red carpet. So like this. Okay, let's uh, start the server and see if anything changes. And well, doesn't work because we have an initialized constant. That is fine because we need to actually require uh, require rouge and require rouge plugins red carpet. Let's see if it works now. I will restart the server. Okay. And just in case, I will also require red carpet. Okay, let's see. Let's see if anything changes. No, nothing changed. Let's uh, remove our custom CSS for code highlighting that we have added previously. Let's see if anything changes. No. So what we need to do now is include a Rouge theme. Now, if we go to the source code, we will see that Rouge has a few uh, themes. Loading. Okay, so uh, here are the themes. And uh, there's a different uh, ways to color our code. And how can we include uh, this? We'll need to include the Rouge CSS. So to include a Rouge theme, for example, uh, Thankful Eyes, 
let's have a look at this uh, thankful eyes theme we will need to create a new css file so we will go to our style sheets application css let's name the file rouge.css.erb and here we will say uh, rouge themes and the name of the theme thankful eyes dot render okay let's see if uh, anything changes i will start the server no nothing changed now let's include this rouge css file inside our application css so uh, i'm going to say at import uh, rouge so this rouge file and let's see if anything changes i will restart the server once again and no nothing changed and why doesn't anything work because i forgot the, the equal sign here so let's refresh and voila you see our code is highlighted here we have our ruby code highlighted here we have our javascript code highlighted accordingly and uh, let's say uh, we go to editing this uh, code block here we have ruby selected so what happens if we remove ruby you see it is uh, not highlighted because it doesn't know what language this is so it is important for us to uh, give the name of the language on the beginning of the code block so i say ruby and it is highlighted as ruby and uh, that's uh, basically it so uh, what did we do we have included the rouge plugins red carpet in our red carpet renderer we have required rouge and red carpet and here instead of saying uh, red carpet render html we said uh, that we're going to render this rouge html thing inside our application html we have included the rouge css erb file and we have selected a theme that we would like to um, display now let's try another theme let's uh, see we have uh, a team a theme named base 16 so let's uh, try to use this theme instead of thankful eyes i will say themes i will select base 16 dot render and you see the theme is now uh, different and uh, this base 16 theme has uh, a few different modes you see it has a mode dark a mode light so let's try to render the dark mode for example let's say dot mode dark dot render okay dark and you see now it is the base 16 theme and the dark mode so like this you can select uh, a theme that uh, fits uh, you and your application most and uh, have uh, a really custom markdown experience in uh, your application and if you want to customize uh, your theme even more you can actually import it into your css files for example you can say uh rugify rugify style then select a style name for example uh, github and uh, add it to app assets style sheets github dot uh, css and then you would be able to go to your application css and say uh, import github uh, let's try not to import rouge now and let's see how it looks so rails s so here we have github uh, underline themed uh, code and we have this github css file that we can edit as we like and uh, make uh, the experience of highlighted code blocks in your urban rails application even more custom so i guess that's it thanks for being with me and have fun coding